All right, let's do it. Blur, the finale. This will probably be a short stream. We've only got two chapters left, and actually, I should have done this before I ended the previous stream. I should see if the, uh... I should see if the final chapter is even a chapter, or if it's just, like... Surely it's not just one race. Shunt, 250 cars. Uh, yeah, so those are the, the stickers are the achievement. These were the achievements in the PS3 version. On the PC, they're just, they're stickers. They're kind of cool because they are a series of multiple challenges, and you have, like, uh, four challenges each to get a uh, an achievement for mastering a power-up. I like that. This game had good achievos. Let me double check. Okay, now this is a series of races. Stay above 120 miles per hour for an entire lap. That's going to be interesting. I wonder if there's a track that is like uh, particularly good for that. All right, so we got two full chapters of two uh, just full of challenges. So we'll have to see how quickly we can do this. What does this chapter want of us? Shield through three mines, fully bolt eight cars, win any race without wrecking or repairing. Does it mean a first place win, I wonder? And then win event six in Harumi's car. That's weirdly specific. Okay. So I gotta focus on shielding mines and fully bolting people. That's not too bad. They're the same, they're just you just unlock paint jobs. Balanced. Ooh. Well, this is our best car yet. What what mod did we unlock? Oh, it was a scatter shot, the worthless mod. That's like we ran out of ideas. Have this. Hello, Darian. I'm anticipating a short stream today, because there, we don't have much of this left. Sixteen hundred fans. That's pretty low. Two laps. That's probably why, because we don't have a three-lap course. I'm still going back through our uh, old VODs to us uh, manually set up uh, uh, ad breaks because YouTube just kind of destroyed all our videos with them. And it's a little nostalgic going through some of the uh, some of the old ones. I remembered we had a really good clip in uh, Yoshi's Story, the one stream we did of that. I haven't gotten around to highlights of it. I wish I had more time to make highlights, but uh, I don't. I'm just one guy with very limited time. That's why the highlights are kind of rare. Oh, that's what I, I need to find some shields as well. Oh, that was a fan demand failed. Shield, okay. I can do this myself, actually. It's a waste of two power-ups, but... Oh. oh, oh, there's a bad location for these. Oh, there's so many of them. Everyone got a shock. Ah. 
I actually wanted to, uh... I wanted to fire my mine and then hit it. But there were people directly in front of me, so I couldn't make it happen. Okay, here we go. Shield of mine. But that didn't count! It doesn't count if it's my mine? Man. The thing didn't pop up anyway. This is probably my least favorite song in the soundtrack. It's not great. Not a fan. Fuck. Alright, get in front of me. No, I'm slowing down. There you go. I intentionally wanted to do that so that I could, uh... I struggled with my controls a little bit. I, I forgot my power-up buttons, is what just happened. You know what, I sh Maybe my mines will count if they're, like, a lap later. Maybe they just need to, like, sit for a bit. Okay, second place. I forgot that was two laps, not three. Got the fan target. I wonder... Oh, that's the max fan status. Okay. That's a relatively low max level. Uh, destruction event. That? No, I can't shield through mines because there aren't shields in destruction events. I also got to... Okay, I got to avoid repairs because I need to win a race without repairing. I forgot about that one. What's my best, uh, what's my best B-class car currently? I got that drifty thing. Not the HHR is balanced. Wait, this is considered balanced, even though it has a grip of 2.5. But this is grif- this is drifty with a grip of 3. That's weird. Let's try it. Let's let's try the the three grip drifty vehicle. Hollywood Hills, 1700 fans. So I can't I can't go towards any of the goals in this particular event. Also, I completely spaced that this was a destruction event. I, I really should have focused on a, a grippy vehicle. I think I just missed out on that car. What would that one go? Oh, it fell off. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna change cars. What are my grippy options? 3.5 and 3. Uh, balanced, it says, but... Drifty, grippy, grippy, grippy. I get well let's try the balanced one, I guess. Speed is nice, so you don't like fall behind the, the vehicles you're aiming at. I do wish this was a... Uh, I'm glad it has controller support on the PC. The fact that it only has keyboard glyph glyphs is kinda surprising for 2010.
Somehow the car went flying forward after that hit. Ah! That was a very forceful Hollywood letter. And that's a trap. This does not feel like a four acceleration car. In fact, it might be a... Uh, maybe it's worth not having a high speed on this track. Maybe I should just pick like a grippier and off 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 road vehicle because I keep uh, I keep going too fast and flying off. I okay. Let's try a let's try a Volkswagen. Let's see how this goes. What racing games are going on these days? What's being made now? It kind of feels like there's just a divide. Like on one side there's Mario Kart, and only Mario Kart, because that's what most people are playing. And then there's the, the realistic racers, which are, I, I guess, Gran Turismo. That series is still happening, right? Ow. Oh, bad hit. No, no, stay on. Stay on! Ah. I'm gonna retry that. That's all I can think of is Gran Turismo, to be honest. I'm sure there's others. I don't know what the... Is, is there, like, a market for indie racing games? Are people making those? The last thing I remember hearing about a non-major racing game was that uh, Wild Woody, the weird pencil mascot character, was a guest character in, like, some weird porn race racing game. It was a very bizarre article. Very go kart. I'm having a lot of trouble keeping up with them on this course. Okay, there's some points at least. Getting the red one saves me a lot of time. This early section is killer. It's really hard to keep up with them on this particular turn for some reason. That was way off target. I don't know where that one went. No, I need to KO one. Okay, there we go. I like them bonus hits. I like the blue cars. 
It seems a little weird how long they waited to introduce them, but I'm also glad that they did continue to introduce new stuff. Even as the game went on. Hang it in there. I'm gonna get gold. I'm gonna do it. As long as I don't kill myself. Ah, oh, I slid into the mine. That's okay, I got just enough. How was the fan count, though? Alright. I finally got seven lights on a destruction event. Live on stream. That was a rough level for that. Alright, race. Shield mines, fully bolt cars, no repairs. Balanced. This is a nice color. Do I want to... I think I don't want to repaint this one. I, was th I usually go black, but this silver looks nice. hundred fans, three laps. Is that my car? Is someone else using the same car as me? How dare they? No repairs. <sighs> I hope that I can still use my own mines if it's like a lap later. Because then I can at least, you know, like, litter the racetrack with them and then use them on the next lap, hopefully. It would suck to shield a mine only to find out that it didn't count because it was mine and I forgot about it. This car is... This car is amazing. This car is so fast compared to everything else so far. Got a shield, which is good. Now I need to look out for a mine somewhere. Ah! Uh, that also wasn't a full bolt, really? I know I'm supposed to avoid repairs. This is not going to be the race. I'm not going to get anything done. I, the fully bolting is easy, but everything else they're asking me to do, I can't do it. I should have saved that. Maybe it's just that particular, like, streak. Mine. Yes. That's not a mine. Well, it is a mine, but it's not a live mine. Fuck. Get out of here. Um, a second. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! There goes first. I thought he got that shunt. I guess he didn't. Alright. I don't think 
there was anyone behind me anyway. All right. I ate a lot of damage that race. There was no way I was going to get through that without repairing. This car just feels like cheating. Ideas for Blur 2. Fatter shock power-ups and uh, better car balance. Checkpoint. Okay. This is also does not contribute to any of these goals. Best track. Would you believe for a second I forgot that I was playing Blur and I was pressing the, the, the A button to go and not the shoulder button? It's usually the shoulder button these days for every game that is not Mario Kart. A button to accelerate is really like a like a classic kart racer thing. Even Mod Nation had a shoulder button to accelerate. Probably should make an effort to stay on the road. Here we go, fan run. Ah, oh, I didn't jump high enough. I wish there were more tracks in the game like this, more point-to-points. I love that they both exist, which I also like as a decision in Mario Kart 8, as many other problems as I have with the game. It's cool that there are point-to-point -point races in the game. I want more of them. I want a good mix of uh, lap races and point-to-points. I think I generally prefer point-to-points, but... Uh, I guess they're tougher on devs because, uh, you know, a lap race, you only have to design one-third of a track by comparison. I wonder what is more, uh, more efficient. Doing the the break, the drifting into boost like I'm doing, or using the uh, reverse boost. Because again, it does cost a second to do. Ah, I missed that one. Which is a shame because I'm otherwise on gold time so far. I need uh, 20 seconds remaining for gold. 10 out of 12 checkpoints. This really does feel like an initial D area. This feels like that episode of Steven Universe Future with the, the nighttime car race. I don't know how many people are going to get that reference. It's just it's It's such a nice looking area to drive in. Love this level. 
All right, gold time. Using my big cheaty cheating car. Way short on the fans, though. I have to use a, a lot more, a uh, lot more nitros and hit a lot fewer walls. I think for that fan target. Destruction. Why are there so many non-race events if they want me to do these things in races? I'm gonna do some grinding in this chapter. All right, C class. Do any good grippy vehicles? That's drifty. I guess I got. Let's try the Navarro. We haven't played this one yet. The rat. It's kind of funny that they even point out that it's 12 gates. As if it's ever going to change. Fan run is exactly the same at every level. And here's the boss theme again. I wonder if it's just normally like this, or if there's something wrong with the music. I know... I did see some reports of, like, uh, audio bugs in the PC version of the game, depending on a version. I'm playing on the past version, 1.2, which you need to for the online. And, uh, despite being the patched version, I think that's the version that has more of the audio bugs. I, re I think I remember this level. I think this event is like all green cars, which makes it really difficult because you don't get a lot of time or points for the green cars. Oh no, there's a yellow one. Oh, that's a tight turn. I don't like that turn. a very understated tra uh, music track. We're also on my favorite racetrack, Russian Steps. Definitely not the uh, most frustrating, annoying track in the game. I don't know, I guess there's some contenders for that. No, no. I don't want to take the tunnel. Ah! Right to the mine. Awful, awful performance, but it was good enough for bronze. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about how many lights I get, because I've already unlocked every event. It does seem like a relatively low level cap for single player. Again, multiplayer has a totally different leveling system and leveling cap, so uh, I still have stuff to progress in the game. Or I would if it was 2010, but it's 2024, so I don't. Uh, okay, final race. I need to use Harumi's car. Win without repairing. Fully bolt. And I have not shielded through any mines yet. You know, maybe I should be using the, uh... Maybe I should be using the shield mod one that makes my shield stronger, because that would theoretically help for the mine goal. I think I saw someone in the super van. The off-road... I wonder what the off-road vehicle type is. I would assume... 
they work better in areas like that that are you know, dirt, obviously. I'm just wondering if that's something that the game keeps track of as separate from uh, being, like, you know, grippy or drifty. Probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have, uh... Should have kept that nitro for future laps. You... Okay, no, I'm good. Still doing it. This is cool that it, like, shows you a shortcut by doing this. That seems like a good way to utilize those. The fan runs. Alright, let's get a shield. shocks. Y'all got any mines for me? Did everyone hit all my mines, really? Should have saved that. I really hope that I can... I hope I can do this on my own lines, because otherwise I'm never going to get this. I'll just have to, uh... You know what I'll have to do? I'll have to, uh... I'll have to just, like, tail behind people. I'll have to intentionally hang back at the, like, back of the pack and try to pick up mines that people drop. That's what I'm going to have to do for this challenge. the finish. This is only two laps. Okay, well, I got the one that I, I win a race without uh, wrecking or repairing. So that's done with. Which means for the other challenges, I don't actually have to win any races. Alright. Let me just go back and do the first one. That seemed like the best for uh, for grinding. So I still need to fully bolt one more, but my main concern is, uh... My main concern is, is shielding mines. So let me get something that's on the slower side. And grippy, so that I don't, uh... I don't lose any accuracy with where I'm going. The Glasses Trophy. What a bizarre... That's got... That can't be a real car. Megane Trophy. It, it is a real car. Renault. Renault? Okay, so it's European. It's not Japanese. I thought it'd be weird if, if like, a Japanese manufacturer named their car Glasses. Alright, so I'm gonna hang, hang in the back. I'm look, gonna look for shields. I should have got the shield mod. Oh, it's on the left. Okay. Alright, let me restart then. Actually, you know... I'm gonna switch to the shield mod. Because I'm gonna forget if I don't do it now. No, back. No, cancel. Ah! I forgot which screen I do it on!
Press the share information to share your results to Facebook. Does, does anyone do that? Does anyone really ever use the share buttons in video games? Except maybe if they have, like, a level or a cool, like, a smash video. You know, something you create in a video game. No one's using share to say, hey, I just beat event 47 in campaign mode. Right? No one does that? It's like using the, uh, the notes in video game manuals. Back when video games had manuals. I think it was Donkey Kong 64 had the manual that was all just Cranky Kong railing on you and calling you a terrible gamer. And at the very back, they had the, those couple of pages with the comment, Oh, we, pr hey, we printed these because I guess people use them, I guess. Or something along those lines. Alright, fully equipped. I have the shield power-up. I have... a slow enough vehicle to hang in the back. Don't take my shield. There we go. Okay, I got a shield. Someone drop a mine for me. Pretty please? Let me see if this works, if I do it for myself. Not you! Uh, stop hitting my mine! This is gonna take forever. Okay, there's one. God, what an annoying challenge. I was in 15th place, and this motherfucker comes in out of 16th just to spite me trying to hit a mine intentionally. Get out of here. Y'all got any shields? I do still need one more full bolt. Maybe I can catch up to one of these guys. Shield. Shield. No! Ah! How are these guys so bad? I'm trying to th I'm trying to give them a chance. Okay, there's all the fully bolts that I need. I'm actively trying to stay in the back so that I can get this this shield challenge. Oh, no. Wish I had a shield for that. New shield. New lab. Ah, my own sh my own minds don't count. That's annoying. That's gonna make this difficult. Shield. Here we go. Here's a shield. Wait, did- I thought I had- no, I didn't have a shield. Mine. Yes. Yes, eat it. Y'all got another one? How many do I need? Three or five? I think it was- I hope it was three. Alright, one more shield now. I just need one more mine. Don't need to win. Just need a mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, give me it. Alright, mission accomplished. I get three of them just for good measure.
That's such a cool idea for an alternate version of the boost power-up. I don't think I've ever seen that in another video game, another racing game. The corner boost. This game is so full of cool and unique ideas, and it's it's a tragedy that we haven't got anything like it since. This is Carver's one-on-one. -on -one. He's reckless, and he will risk everything to win. If you see an opportunity, take it. Dodge Viper GTSR. Is this the cheaty one? No, it's not. It's not. It's not that good. Have they all had little logos like that? He's got his face in the corner. The others didn't have faces. Both this game, Studios, uh, Bizarre Creations, are probably best known for uh, Geometry Wars Retro Evolved. Bizarre Creations and the studio that did the Tony Hawk 1 plus 2 remake both suffered the fate of being consumed by Activision. I don't know if these guys were, cut, were recruited to make Call of Duty. I know that's what the, the fate was for the Tony Hawk 1 plus 2 team. Oh, he's fast. This guy's real fast. I also forgot to set it to hard, so I'm not too worried, but... Case in point. Is this the level I was just on? I don't think so. I think this is a different one. that I love that I love that boost usage well I guess this is the race probably wouldn't have been that different even if I had set it to hard just to spam things backwards that I'm not gonna hit anyway no I hit one never mind I stand corrected barges on this course. This dude likes barges. Okay, barge. Alright. Carver was about as much a challenge as any of the other bosses. Which is to say, not much. But maybe that'll change once I'm racing all of them at once. Carver took the risks, but you took the reward. His wheels and mod are now yours. Ooh, Nitro. Clear the path ahead by firing a rift of energy forward. I'm sorry, I get a Kamehameha? I don't know how useful that is, but it sounds really cool. Uh, stay above 120 miles per hour for an entire lap. Land 15 reverse bolt rounds. Mine 20 cars. Come, come first in all six events. Oh, I gotta get first in all of them now? Uh-oh. Okay, they're all races, so they're not... At least they're not checkpoints. Those are, those are the events that I usually have the hardest time getting the uh, five lights in.
mine 20 cars. Let's try out the, uh, let, let's try out the new, uh, let's try out the Nitro Rift. So what are we missing? Showdown. So the only things we're missing are these last two A-class cars. We've unlocked everything else for single player. Two thousand. This game would be fun with mod support. I guess. I, You know, I haven't really played a racing game with mod support. I know they exist. I know that uh, Trackmania is a series on Steam that is, like, big on workshop content. And I always meant to try it, I just, I never got around to it. I am perhaps unwisely saving these bolts because I want, uh... I want those reverse hits. I do have to come first in all these, though, so maybe I can't worry too much about, uh, about the demands. They might just have to happen organically, or I'm not going to, uh... Uh-oh. Alright, let's try this out. When I get a straightaway, anyway. That would have been a, ba a bad time to boost if I'd done it right there. Ugh. That was also a very bad time to boost. Okay, so it just like bumps people out of the way. I don't think it deals damage by the look of it. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to focus on these, uh, on these challenges while also getting first place. I'm going to have to do, like, one at a time. In fact, I think I've already kind of ruined first place for this one. What an awful series of turns that is on this track. I think it just knocks them, but it's still fun. Ah! I missed that. I missed that reverse shunt, and then I wasted the second one, too. Nope. Alright, final lap. How far behind am I? I really got distracted trying to, like, save my bolts for reverse hits and things like that. Just driving into walls because they're so tasty. This does seem like a very good track to use, uh, to use bolts on. Not, uh, shocks. Just because of how, uh, tight and turny it is. needed that repair. I am so about to wreck. Fuck off, Natalia. Yeah, this isn't happening. 
Definitely not first, not even third. That, that's a trap. That Nitro, followed by that turn. All right, let's just, uh, let's retry that. Let, let's focus on coming in first. Especially because if we can maintain first, we'll get a lot of, uh, we'll just get reverse bolt hits naturally. Maybe not so much on this track, but, uh... Oh! Oh god, the spinning! Oh god! There should be a parody of Christopher Walken in a racing game named Christopher Driven. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Alright, third place. the wrong button. Eating every shunt. Did I do it again? I no okay, that wasn't the trap I was thinking of. This might be tricky. It might be a challenge to get in first in all of these races. That's so nasty. Oh, three 90 degree turns followed by a hairpin. Out of the way. That's the trap. This is the one. I gotta get more shocks. That's what I gotta do. I really gotta slow down whoever is, like, in first and second. Okay, there's first. Is this the turn? Yeah, this is the series of turns. Let me get this shock down here. Oh, I ate my own shock! And a shunt, too, for good measure. That's alright. We're doing okay. Stop shunting me! Ah! And I wasted my shunt trying to block it and failed anyway. I was I felt I was doing so well and now it's just gone. Oh, that's the finish! 
Okay, we're only doing two laps, I see. I do appreciate that you can avoid shunts with uh, proper maneuvering in this game. Which you can probably do to red shells in Mario Kart in some way, but man, it sure feels unreliable. I wonder how well you can, like, pay attention to where racers are and choose where to uh, use your, uh, your shock power-ups. It does feel possible, but you have to, like, your opponent would have to be visible, I would imagine. No! Ah! I'm sorry, I'm not talking much. I actually have to focus on this batch of levels. These are proving, you know, challenging. Oh! Oh! An overpass and a spin-out! Case in point. And now I'm in the clusterfuck. I'm in the Mario Kart clusterfuck. Clusterfuck. Where everybody is getting hit by everything. slow down to zero for that turn. Y'all got any repairs? There we go. Fifth place. No! Turn. Get turnt. Oh no, it's three laps. It's not two laps. I, just, I guess I just lost track of laps last time. Why did those just go into the wall? What happened? I don't know why I went for that shock. It would have been disadvantageous of me to use it anyway. But I'm in first, now I just gotta stay here. Got a couple barges. No. No, fuck off. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to save it. Because I want to have my nitros available. Is this the trap? This is the trap. And this one is also not great because there's another turn immediately after. All right, finish. Got it. First place. I don't know how many reverse bolts I got. Or, uh... Wait, what was the other thing I was supposed to do? Mines? Just short of the fan target. Mine 20 cars. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta do a lot of mines.
the, the bolts are already taken care of. Stay above 120 for an entire lap. What track am I... I'm definitely not going to do that on that track. Sand Prime Sausage. Central Sprint. Maybe I'll get like an Amboy track. Something wide open and easy to... Uh, or the, the Barcelona Oval. Maybe they'll be kind and they'll include that on one of these. Okay, so I am a mine guy. Is there a mine mod? There's not. Weird. They have one for every other power-up, but not, uh, not mines. They could do this in Mario Kart. They have, like, uh, special mods of some kind. The closest they ever had was the, uh, the unique weapons. Which were not... Some of them were kind of like upgraded versions of existing, uh, existing items. I guess you could say the Bowser shell was kind of like an upgraded green shell, but not, not really. I am now a mines guy. I am on the lookout for mines. Mine? Oh, shut up. Ah! Right into it. That was a bad boost. That was a bad nitro. Not only did I miss the mine, but they barged it so that I can't... It can't even hit anyone else now. Mine? Shun. Mine. Shocks. No. Bad. There's a mine. Okay. Okay, but I don't actually want to use the mines on power-ups, because that doesn't count. I need to hit them. I need to hit cars with them. This could be a good track to stay over 120 on. I can't do that if I want to get the fan run, because I have to actually slow down for this particular fan run. Oh, I dropped. I went under 120. Okay, so that series of turns is going to be the obstacle for that. Other than that, it looks like it would be easy enough. barges out of here. Mine. <sighs> Alright, so let me rack up some... Uh, let me rack up some nitros so that I'll be able to take those turns and hopefully maintain. Ah! They took my mine from me. It's also unfortunately a problem if I get hit by any power-up, because that's gonna tank my speed. Now, oh, I spun out. I 
not getting notifications of any mine hits. Which means they're all being avoided. I'm simply too good. I am too far ahead to hit anyone with my mines. Oh, nope, there's one. Never mind. Maybe everyone's just onto my shit. Maybe they know that I'm exclusively going for mines and just littering them everywhere. Maybe they're avoiding the mine power-ups. What a bizarre fan gate. Fan run. Forcing you to go slow so you don't go over that tunnel. Mount Haruna. That could be a good one for 120. Well, no, that's the entire track. That doesn't have laps. Promenade loop, that could work. Hackney. Alright, I still need 16 more mines. I wish I didn't keep resetting my car. I'm gonna stick with my cheaty car. What were some other PS3 racing games that I was... Uh... The reason that I played so many is not because I even originally liked racing games that much. But uh, my best friend at the time, Road Rocket, that was just what he mostly played. And because he was the main person that I played games with, I just got dragged into all these racing games on the PS3 era. So I played Blur, I played Mod Nation Racer, those two are my favorites. Along with the F-Zero GX, which is obviously not a PS3 game. I played Split Second, which I believe is still on Steam. That one is not delisted. Or maybe it is delisted, but I have it. Or I, I bought it before it was delisted, so I can at least still play that one on Steam. This game was on Steam, but has been delisted, so you cannot buy it on Steam anymore. For reasons unknown. I don't think it was like put onto another platform, whatever Activision's platform is. It's just was made unavailable. Uh, y'all got any mines? I need mines. Mine, there we go. There's one. No, 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 no. Go ahead and drop that. No, leave me alone. Alright, fine. Dick. I love doing that. I love slowing down to hit something hit somebody with something in this game. The way I hit that wall bounced me in such a way. Oh, that was bad. No, 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 no. Shocks. Shocks. Shocks everywhere. And I failed the fan run. Yeah, hit the mine. Hit the mine. No. Slitting. Slipping and sliding. That was a wrecking shot, apparently. Get out of here. Yeah. First place is mine. Y'all got none of this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, bad. Lots of bad. We're good. We're fine. First place. And I got an extra bolt hit at the end, too. Uh, the gimmick of Split Second was that you would go... It was like a televised game show, and as you went through tracks, 
It was it was realistic. It was arcade racy like this game. But uh, you'd be able to activate shortcuts with like I don't know triggers or something by blowing up buildings and so on and so forth. So that was the gimmick of Split Second. And it was fine. I enjoyed playing it, but not as much as uh, it didn't have as much, as much replay value as as Blur did. Still need 14 more mines. I played Motorstorm Apocalypse, which was a... Uh, that was like a combat racing game like uh, Jack X. I remember liking Jack X on the PS2. I don't, I don't remember much about how it played, though. Like, what made it stand out from other uh, power up racing games. Motorstorm Apocalypse, I did not love. It was okay. This is very, I found it very forgettable, though. I, it's conceivable that I could do the 120 miles per hour on this track. I'd have to not get hit by anything the whole race, though. There it is. There goes my attempt. As misguided an attempt as it was. Ah, that was my fault. I really hope that forward mine, mine hits count. That would be really unfair if they didn't. Yeah, push me. <sighs> Off the mines, because everybody got, everybody got that mine power up. Oh, and the uh, Sonic racing games. Sonic and Sega All-Star Racers. They're okay. I don't, remem I don't remember thinking anything particularly incredible about their design. They were just... A cart racer. Get out of here. There's the fan run. What can I do with it? Oh, no, 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 how dare you? Fuck it, bolts! Uh-oh, uh-oh, nope, still in it. Ah! The barge, the barge killed it. Maybe, now I could still do it, I, I... Okay, I barely pulled it off. I'm about to get, like, horribly, like, mangled, though. Okay, there's a repair. I need to get third for it to count, though. And I need to get first, like, period. I'm gonna have to do this again if I don't get first. Which I don't think I'm going to at this point. Mine hit. Come on, give me that mine hit. No, 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 we don't, we don't shunt me, we don't shunt me! up all the shields. Ah, fifth! Man, 
Not only do I have to do that again, the fan run didn't count. Maybe if I can get ahead early on and stay there. Th then I will be able to do the fan run without having to worry about, you know, a million cars on my butt. Another mine hit. I'm also once again going to use the excuse that uh, I am at least slightly distracted from just focusing on racing because I have to do these these challenges. That was a bad shot. That really put me off track. He's got a shield. Ah! I'm sorry. I gotta start. That's that's too rough. Can we just have like a truce? Can we understand that we? in 8th, 9th, and 10th place are part of the proletariat. And our true enemies are the people in 1st and 2nd place. We can't fight amongst ourselves. That's what the 1st placers want. I have picked up nothing. Ah! Why did that hit nobody? Well, who was that targeting? That also hit no one. Why is everyone getting shields? It's all they're getting! I'm gonna get ahead of this guy so he uses his thing. He's gonna use a shock. I got a shield ready for it. That's gonna be a waste because he's got a barge. All right, fine, I'll do it. All right, first place. I just gotta maintain, that's all. That stutter, that stutter made me miss the person that I wanted to hit. And it also made me use my shield that I wasn't intending to use. Oh no, oh no, it's beginning. I'm getting hit by everything, and I'm right in the middle of the clusterfuck during the fan run. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Ah, fan run failed. Second place. It's not a lost cause yet. Fuck off! It got barged! I'm getting bullied. I am getting just... I'm getting bullied very hard. Shaman. I'm getting passed by the first boss. Nope. We don't do that. 
still? Why are they so much harder here than they were during their actual boss fights? Just because there's more- I guess just because there's more of them. I don't have one person that I can target. I have, like, a whole bunch of people just unloading weaponry upon me. And getting me fifth place finishes. <sighs> Alright. Everybody drive back up. We're doing it again. This car is so good, I can't possibly do better with a different car. What other games are we planning on doing soon? Well, soon. Jack's computer status is, as of this stream, still unknown. He's probably currently in the process of building it. generally like to do, like, uh, one game that we're both engaged in. One that he plays, one that I play. The next Jack game will probably be Banjo-Kazooie, so that'll probably be after Tomb Raider 2, once we finish that. Maybe I'm underestimating the amount of difference being on the road makes. Maybe I just need to really hyper-focus on staying on the pavement, rather than trying to cut corners on the dirt. Fuck it. You're in ninth place! Why are you reverse bolting me? Watch him fire the shunt backwards. Okay, no, he didn't. He fucking could've. This grudge, that you know what? They do all have grudges against me. I took all their cars. Fucking bolts. Why are you reverse firing on me? In seventh place, I don't understand your reasoning. I hate them. I hate all of them so much. I'm in third place, fourth place, sixth place. And I'm getting reverse bolted! I get okay, barge is forgivable, because who else who else are you gonna use that on except the person right next to you? Ah! And I boost into the shunt that is about to hit Drake. Now we're doing this over. Start out redo, Mulligan. I had such an easy time with the other ones. The previous two races were cakewalks. Then we go to Mount Haruna, and it, everybody is out for my ass. Specifically, they want my blood. Okay, pavement. Pavement, pavement, pavement. I'm in a streetcar, I gotta act like it. 
Maybe, maybe I can, like, not focus on power-ups and I can just, like, outrace them. Maybe, maybe that's the plan. Fuck off. Shannon. First boss. I'm too grippy for a super drift. That's not gonna happen. some of those back there. I, I think the pavement was the answer. That was the solution. Shield would have been nice. I would have liked that shield. No. They're still catching up. What's happening? Shannon, you need to go. Yeah, get out of the race. I wish that was a permanent... You know, that would have been so great for all these final events. If these are, like, all the bosses collectively. Let me, like... Let, put Turn on permadeath. Let me, like, remove them from the race one by one. That would be fantastic. Yeah, you eat that. Let me just get past you. Ah, no, they bolted it. I missed the barge. I'm gonna lose at the very end. And he's got a shield, of course he's got a shield. Everyone has a shield. Everyone but me has a shield at all times. Okay, shoot that forward, yes, because our enemy, our shared enemy is first place. Con, you're in my fucking way. Get out of my way. No, 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 no! Mother friggin' Tome Alone language. <sighs> I'm gonna get fifth place again. Someone's gonna pass me. I'm gonna get exactly fifth place every time I attempt this race. Okay, fourth place. Hey, that's progress. Oh, that was going so well for most of that race. I'm gonna keep at it. I'm not gonna go down to easy mode. You know, I thought I considered going up to hard mode for these last batch of tracks, because, you know, these are the bosses. It should be hard, but. Now I'm glad I didn't. It's also. Lovely of them to start me in the back of the pack. That's just, I'm very thrilled about that. I say semi-jokingly because that's kind of what, that's what most racing games tend to do. I wonder why that is. Everyone likes an underdog, I guess. All right, let's all agree to target first place because that's the that's the good idea. That's what we all benefit from. Yeah, nice shield, bro.
I didn't even hit the mine. The person who hit the mine was close enough that the explosion radius... Why are you barging 10th place? The vitriol in this race! I don't think the... I noticed that the AI never uses forward mines. That seems to be a thing that only I do. No. Ayumi, please, fuck off. Wasted that shunt that I wasn't trying to use. I knew they'd do that. I want to repair, but I can't afford to. I can't afford to, like, not be super aggressive, because I gotta catch up. Why are you reverse bolting? First place is right there. Save your bolts for her. That would be the smart, non-vitriolic thing to do. Just go ahead and avoid all those power-ups. Fucking bolt. Now come back here. I'm gonna bolt you. Why did she use barge immediately? What was that? Why? I don't understand these racers, these AI. The red race domination, second place. Eat some of those shocks for me. Okay, okay. Nope. I'm gonna be in first. I gotta maintain it! I got bolted and that knocked the shunt off course. <laughs> They're making me fight for it. They're making me fight for it so hard. And the rubber banding, they just keep passing me anyway. I assume there's rubber banding in play here. Okay, I got I got something for defense. I got my bolts. We got plenty of things in defense. I stay on the stay on the pavement. I gotta maintain good distance. Finish! 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 That sucked. I hated that. Mount Haruna descent. But what if there was an ascent? That'd probably be less fun going up the mountain. I got a lot of power-ups from that. All right, I got NY Dumbo and Brighton left. So I got a couple more mines. Those will happen normally. And I still have that one where I have to stay above 120 for an entire lap. Which I'm guessing is going to be easiest on Promenade Loop, but we'll see.
Vehicles with good drift perform well on sweeping and drifty circuits. Sweeping. What what is a sweeping drifty circuit? A, tr a circuit with turns? You would think that drifty vehicles would perform worse on like very tight turny courses. Not gonna be doing 120 this lap. Unfortunately, all of these raid, the, all of these AI are good enough to avoid most shunts as well. Shannon is dominating. She she took the position of first boss. She she willingly nerfed herself. She's been holding back this whole time. Uh oh. Let's see if we can... I don't know if 120 lap is going to happen on this course. This course has a lot of turns on it. Especially tight turns that don't seem like they would... Uh, they don't seem like they would be conducive to this goal. I don't know why I thought that was a good time for a boost. Probably wasn't. Got plenty of them, though. I definitely think that this is the, uh... This is the best mod for single player, is the, uh, the fan nitro. shield. That was a totally pointless shock. The gap between the shocks was so wide. Just drop shit behind me. Someone will hit it. That's a that's a tight. That's a tight fan run. Those definitely seem like they would be easier in the drifty cars as opposed to drifty ones. I'm trying to maintain a, uh, a spare item slot as much as possible so that if I get, uh, if I pass a fan threshold, I'll get the, uh, I'll get the extra nitro. Not that it really matters at this point, but... I don't think any of the AI racers are taking this path. I think these mines are wasted a little bit. No, 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 no. Right into it. That's fine, I'm super ahead. They'll never catch up, right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I thought maybe I just jinxed it.
I guess the AI are just really, really good at Mount Haruna. Alright, so all I have left is 120 miles per hour for a whole lap. Let's see if that's doable here on Promenade Loop. And if not, then I guess... Bay Area Tour might be the next easiest. Might be worth using the, uh... Oh, the... the... The shield one? Because if my shields last longer, then I can use them on uh, on turns to not lose as much speed by hitting walls. Probably not, though. It's still probably better to get, uh, get nitros throughout the race. Alright, 120. I don't gotta worry about mines anymore, other than hitting them. Okay, we all oh, we got the sharp turn, I see. That's not great for speed, but it is otherwise. It is otherwise just a back and forth track, so if I can get nitros and hold on to them. Maybe this is the spot? I'm not I don't see a bunch of many nitros on the track though is the problem. Uh oh. Nope, Shannon, you take this. Ah That's, that's a bad hit. Oh, how are we going to do this? I thought this would be the one, but I'm, I'm second-guessing that now. The shield saves me from, from taking damage, but I still lose, I still do lose quite a bit of speed. And I can't do the thing where I do the reverse nitro because I lose speed momentarily doing that. Just that already knocked me below 120. Maybe I just need to turn better. Maybe I need to not run into walls. As novel as a suggestion as that is. Like, could I make these turns at 120, I wonder? Yeah, that, that costs me speed if I do that. Alright, so now comes the puzzle. How are we going to do this? Was it the money run, or was it... San Fran. I think San Fran might actually be the easiest. Let's try this one again. Let's try 120 miles per hour on the sausage. So I don't need to get first. I don't need to place at all. In fact, I could just... Uh, I could just, like, hang back at, like, the back of the pack. But that would be really boring, and I would like to not have to do that.
All right, what is going to be... I think there was only one series of turns that gave us trouble for this. If I remember correctly. So I just need to... I need to get ahead. I need to get a good distance ahead. Yeah, these guys. So I need to make it through these, maintaining 120. should be okay. Alright. This lap. This is the one. Let's do it. Ideally, I'll even have, uh, I'll have three nitros by the time I get there. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Uh, shocks are gonna be a problem. Go ahead and hit that wall for good measure. Probably would probably be smart for me to get a shield instead of like three nitros, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Turns are coming up. Oh god damn it! Here it is. Ah, the shocks ruined it for me. So this is gonna be some luck. The turns are angled in such a way that I can. Uh, I can kind of, like, finagle through them just by cutting the corners. They're not sharp turns. I'm going to hold on to the shield in case anything happens. I got one more lap to try this. Fuck. I'm going to hold on to the shield in case I happen. again. I'm probably going to get shocked in the same spot, too. Alright, here's the turns. The mine! Ah! I hit a mine. I was going too fast, I couldn't see it. It's alright, we got a plan, we know what we're doing. It's annoying that it basically takes a lap for us to get ahead of everybody to really attempt this. Oh, there goes that lap. I wanted the shield. Completely failed to avoid the wall in front of the shield. Right, well, this is practice. Weave. We get bolted for good measure. I feel so much faster than everyone on this track. This was absolutely not the case on Mount Haruna.
I don't think the version of the song in this game has the lyrics. Alright, this is our attempt. Lap 2. Alright, shunt, that's alright. I got a shield for just this occasion. No, no, there they are. Lap three. This is a mean challenge. So what is the final race? What's the final event gonna be, I wonder? Is it just going to be another race against everyone? No, it's probably going to be, like, Super Shannon. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be the Shannon rematch for the final two cars. Alright, and I'm going to shield before I go into it, because that's going to protect me from the walls a little bit. Ah! I ate the wall too much. I was I kept over 110, but not 120. We got two more challenges. We got to do this, and then we got the final race with, I'm assuming, Super Shannon. That's what I'm calling her. She got the Chaos Emeralds, and she now races extra fast. You know, it's a game that we've never streamed that I remember liking it was uh, Sonic R. Which is already kind of a hot take. I don't think most people remember Sonic R fondly. That's the uh, Sonic Saturn game. Where you race as the Sonic characters on foot. Which you would think would be... I don't know. You'd think more than one game ever would have done that. You know, like a foot racing game. But it's kind of not a thing, and that's a little disappointing to me, because, like, uh... I think it sounds like a cool idea, especially in something like a platformer. Like, I would love the Koopa foot races in Mario Odyssey to be fleshed out into, like, a full game concept. That's kind of speedrunners, come to think of it. The, uh, 2D platforming like, I don't know about competitive, the player versus player race game with your friends. Platforming race game. I'd like another game like that. Particularly a 3D one, because that hasn't happened yet. Alright, here's our attempt. 120 miles an hour. We gotta stay right at first so that we can then turn left at just the right angle here. Ah! I think I went under very briefly. I think I needed to boost a little earlier than I did. But let's see. Let's try it again next lap, just in case. If you're just joining us, our goal is to uh, maintain 120 miles per hour for an entire lap. Which is something that we need to do to unlock the final, basically, the final boss challenge of the game, basically. 
every uh, every chapter in this game has a series of challenges, conditions that you have to meet in order to unlock the uh, the boss race. I don't remember how uh, Diddy Kong Racing handled that. I think it was just like, collect a certain number of MacGuffins and I'll race you. I think that was how the boss races usually went. Alright, still over one, still over 120. Hug the right wall. And there's a mine there. No, the spin out! Alright, well that lap was not it. I don't know if lap two was or wasn't though, so let's finish the race and see if it gives it to us. This song kind of reminds me of, uh... What does it remind me of? I'm drawing a blank on the song. Never mind, forget I said anything. Give me the challenge. Please give me the challenge. I did it. I was so close to doing it. I was like 119. Ah! Oh. Was that the uh, somebody told me you had a boyfriend? That song. That's what I was thinking of. It's not inconceivable that I could do this in the first lap, but... Oh, it's going to be a lot more difficult with the other racers around. And that that alone, just hitting someone in the back, just ruined it already. Get out of here. I'm getting his barges. What's over here? Nothing? Nothing. Alright, cool path. I probably should not be putting mines here because they're going to mess with my attempts in future laps. Thank God this is not like Mount Harana and it's easy to uh, like get a lead and keep it. If every attempt of this, if every lap was like uh, the first lap, I would never get this. I think the strategy is still a shield and two nitros. I think that's the plan. Stop giving me barges. Because I do know I'm losing a lot less speed with the shield against the wall. I think. And the problem with relying solely on nitros is that I keep spinning out. Alright. Shield and two nitros, let's go. Got my shield up. Ah, now I went under. That, okay, so I can't, I can't nitro against the, the right turn. If I do that, I hit the, hit the left turn wall every time. Maybe. This is gonna sound crazy. Maybe I need to let go of the gas just a little bit so that I can make those turns easier. Maybe this is my fault, that I'm just holding acceleration the entire time. Maybe that's a little optimistic of me to do that. Alright, final lap, final attempt.
In which case, I definitely want shield, because, like, if I'm going to spin out from using a nitro, that's not going to save the attempt. I did it over 120 the whole time. Oh, okay. It's constantly tracking. It doesn't have to be a... Uh, it doesn't have to be an entire lap from the starting line. Well, that's a little bit nice. It's telling that I got it immediately after that turn, though, because the rest of the, ca the, rest of the track is cake to do that on. That was rough, but I guess it's appropriate for a final world challenge. If there's a, I wonder if there's time trials for this game. If people have like world record times on each of these courses, I'm sure they do. That's a dumb question. It's a racing game. Astra Extreme. Very grippy. Shannon, again, is this like a perfect stat car? No, it's not. It, it's worse than the car that I was just driving. It does have perfect grip, though, and pretty good other stats. Uh, let me go back. And like, I forgot to do with the with him, this loser, this joker. He didn't deserve it. I'm going to set Shannon to hard. All right, final boss of Blur, Super Shannon. Chaos, emeralds, and all. Let's go. I wonder if there's another mod to get from her, or if I've gotten all of them. I wouldn't mind if uh, this game gave a little more attention to the drivers. They just kind of live, they just kind of hang out in their cars, which, you know, they're drivers, that's what they do, but, like, I don't know, Mod Nation Racers had cutscenes where, like, you would see them at the start of the race, getting out of their cars, talking to each other. I feel like this game would benefit from a little bit of that personality. This game, this, uh, this track, this track, this car is grippy, but it does not turn well. Not as well as my previous car. Oh! Oh, reverse shunt. It would be great if I got things besides barges. And bolts. This is a nice track. I like this track. I would like that shunt. Is this where they put all the AI on Shannon? I can't catch up to her. And if I were allowed to use my car and not her car. Maybe it's the same thing again. Maybe I'm not paying enough attention to staying on the tarmac. More elaborate shortcuts would be neat. Because we just saw that. That was just like a barely a detour. That little side path. Wishlist for a blur two. Fatter shocks. More driver personality. Cooler shortcuts. Better car balance. Not a lot. 
most of the most of the game design decisions in this game I think are very smart. Good idea. Good ideas. I'm not out of hope yet, but boy, it'd be tremendous if I could, like, see her. Okay. No, that didn't work out. Beaten by Showdown. What do you mean, by Showdown? Is that her racing name? Showdown Shannon? Been out. Fishtail. Why are you faster than me? We're in the same car. That's a thing that uh, F Zero did that was kind of cool. Was that uh, you could set, you could set your own stats before a race. Not all your stats. Vehicles did have uh, like stats that were set to them. But, uh, you could choose between uh, max speed or acceleration on, like, a meter. Just thought I'd go ahead and eat that. Thought it'd be a good idea to eat that shunt. Okay, well, that is way easier than actually winning the race. I just destroyed her. Showdown wrecked. I wrecked John Showdown. Well, you made it to the top. I'm impressed. If you want to stick around as long as I have, you're going to need this. Trust me. Enjoy it while you can. Maybe I'll see you again. <laughs> no, we won't. Bizarre Creations presents Blur. Rest in peace, Bizarre Creations. Never to make a sequel. Never to see Shannon again. It's a fairly simple campaign mode. It's more than a lot of racing games have. A lot of racing games just don't have any real single player. Mario Kart doesn't have a ton of single player. It just kind of has the Grand Prix you can replay over and over again and unlock stuff. This was somewhere between that and, uh... You know what this was? This was like the Mario Kart DS mission mode a little bit. which were like event races. That was cool, I enjoyed that mode. But Mario Kart doesn't really do that anymore. Mod Nation Racers had something of a campaign kind of like this, a little more detailed. And then of course the like pinnacle of racing game single player is like uh, CTR, Diddy Kong Racing. The games with overworlds and everything. Those are so cool, and I wish racing games would do that more. I guess it's kind of a balance between, uh... They had an overworld, but they also had dedicated racetracks, as opposed to, a. Uh, Burnout Paradise, I keep mentioning, where the overworld was the racetracks. 
And because of that, the racetracks didn't feel as, like, designed as proper racetracks would be. I think CTR and Diddy Kong Racing are, the, are the, probably the best way to do a single player in a racing game. How old are these blur babies now? I guess they'd be teenagers because this was a 2010 game. More credits? Oh, okay. We get the important credits, and then there's these assholes. They're not they're not as important. Activision? No, we don't need to see Activision. We're good. Alright. Well, that was my playthrough of the single player of Blur. I hope to be back with this with a multiplayer stream. We're gonna set up uh, we're gonna try to set up online multiplayer and see if I can get a, a few people in for that. Because that should be a good time. Jack being one of them, of course. I gotta test it out with him. Could also do another split screen stream if that doesn't work over Parsec, but I would love to do online if we can manage it. If you have been with me through this, thank you for watching. And I will see you probably next weekend with another stream with Jack. Don't know what yet, but uh, we'll find out. Adios.